Hello, my name is Sam. I'm the personal training coordinator at American University. And today we're going to get creative with the jump rope and bring out your inner child. Remember the days of when you used to jump rope in gym class? Well, hopefully today's workout is just as fun or maybe more fun. And if you don't know how to jump rope, that's okay. We have plenty of exercises in today's routine that do not require you to jump rope. Jumping rope is great for your cardiovascular system. And today we're going to throw in some strength and stretching exercises to make it an all-around total body workout. So let's get started. All right, the first exercise in the warm-up is a jump rope with figure eight. So we're not actually going to jump in the rope. We're actually going to bring the rope from side to side, swinging it. And then, once you get comfortable and find your rhythm, you're going to jog in place. So for the shoulders, we're going to do a shoulder pass through. So we're going to double the jump rope. We're going to hold it a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Or depending on your shoulder flexibility, you might have to go a little bit wider. We're going to bring the jump rope all the way from our thighs, all the way back behind us, and bring it back forward. Going into your hamstrings, your hamstrings are three muscles that work together behind your legs. And often when you do repetitive cardiovascular exercises, they can get really tight and sore. So we're going to stretch them out. We're going to wrap the jump rope around the arch of your foot. Extend the opposite leg. You're going to give it a little bit of tension. You're going to drop that leg towards the floor. And then with your upper body and your arms, pull on that jump rope and bring that leg as close as you can to your face. The first exercise in the circuit is a lateral jump rope. So move your feet from side to side for 30 seconds. For the second exercise, we're going to use the jump rope as if it were an agility ladder. You're going to bring both feet forward across the rope and then bring them back. For plank hand taps, maintain a strong plank by pulling your belly into your spine. Keep your wrists, elbows, and shoulders in line. Bring one hand up to touch the opposite shoulder and back down. If you're still learning how to jump rope, stay stationary. Otherwise, to challenge yourself, start at one end of the room and jump rope forward. You can either skip, jump with both legs, or get creative. We're almost done, so stick with it. The next exercise is a push-up walkover. You're going to perform a push-up on one side of the jump rope. Then walk your hands and feet to the other side of the rope and perform another push-up. You're going to do this the length of the jump rope. If you need to modify, perform it on your knees. For the last exercise, we're going to perform tension sit-ups. Hold the jump rope like you had it for the shoulder mobility pass-throughs and assume a sit-up position. Take an inhale and as you exhale, roll your upper body off the floor and come to the top of the sit-up. Now that we've gone over all the exercises in the workout, do another round if you're a beginner and another two to three rounds if you're really advanced and want the challenge. Hopefully this workout brought out your inner youth and I hope you join us next time on Student Health 101 for your health and fitness needs.